Yo, Nintendo girl coming at you live with a new video. We're going to do this. Now let's go. Skilly biscuits in the house. Hi guys, it's Mandy. Hashtag Nintendo girl. And welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to do a beginner's guide to the Nintendo Switch. Anything you might need, anything you might want, and all the essentials that I think you definitely need for this thingy. But before we start, hit that subscribe button and ring a ding ding that bell so you know when a video of mine drops. Anyways, with all that being said, let's go! Alright, so I'm going to start off with the things that you absolutely unequivocally need for the switch and number one is the switch so when you buy a switch it comes with the switch uh two joy cons it comes with the charger and the dock and it comes with the grips to put your joy cons in to play now it does not come with the chargeable grips so keep that in mind and none of the products that i mentioned are sponsored so there's that <laughs> So all that good stuff comes with the Switch. Now time for the things that come without the Switch. And one thing you will need is a memory card. So you're going to need a micro SD card. So this is my old one, it is a 64 gig. Now that is not gonna cut it at all, even if you're not one to download a bunch of games. So a micro SD card comes in handy. Now I will say, do not get the Nintendo brand SD cards because they're way more expensive and their cheaper counterpart which is basically the same thing it just doesn't have Nintendo on it is way cheaper and you could get a lot more gigs for the price so just a warning for y'all so the switch comes with 32 gigs built in but it does not come with the memory card or the micro sd card so you really need that because those 32 gigs ain't gonna do much even if you don't download games like breath of the wild takes up a lot of space even if you get the cartridge version so you're gonna need one now micro SD cards are not as expensive as they were before, so you can get a pretty nice beefy one for like under 30 bucks. Alright, and the next thing that you will need, especially if you collect games like me, a physical collector, is a game case. Now this one is a pretty basic one, I see a lot of people have it, I actually have a Breath of the Wild version too. Now these are by Hori, now they carry a lot of games inside. And they have a little slot for your SD card and these are relatively cheap I think this one's 10 bucks and I don't think they sell the Breath of the Wild one anymore but this is also 10 bucks so they're really cheap and you don't want to lose your games because they're really tiny and they're really expensive and so I would recommend you get a game case and the next thing you will need for your switch is a screen protector now the screen is made out of plastic so it could take hits a little minor hits don't go throwing it against the wall but it's very bad when it comes to scratches this thing will scratch up like no time if you don't put a screen protector on so i highly recommend you get one as soon as possible because even the dock will scratch it up that's how sensitive this thing is to scratches so screen protectors are not really that expensive and they usually come in packs in case you make a mistake and it has those stupid air bubbles and um yeah that is something you should buy alongside the switch so and the last thing you need for your switch is a case so this thing is cute nice but it is also very vulnerable so a case to protect it is necessary so this is a very old case and it's very bulky they do come in different sizes and shapes uh, there's the very slim ones, there's the fat ones, there's ones that fit games, chargers, whatnot, there's even backpacks. So there's a lot of variety when it comes to cases, but the gist of it is you need a case. Do not put your Switch in your purse without a case, because it will get scratched up or dented even with the screen protector, because that's a no-no in my book. So, get a case. Now, this is a very controversial point, but... I feel like you definitely need it, especially if you're online a lot 
if you want to play Smash, if you want to play Mario Kart, whatever, with your friends. You do need, unfortunately, the membership for online. Now, it's like 20 bucks uh, a year, which is kind of cheap considering the PSN and Xbox Live is $60. Needless to say, you need it for the basic online functions that you used to get for free. It's not that much for a year subscription, but it is something that is there. You also get the NES library thing, which is and they're actually going to add SNES games in the future. So yay, we're finally off the NES. We're going to the SNES. Like, that, no, like anybody cares. <laughs> All right, now onto the things that you don't necessarily need, but you might want to think about it for a future purchase. So yeah. <laughs> now first up is the Mighty Pro Controller. I would have put this in the necessities because to me, it's a necessity. This thing is like the best. Now some games you do need the Joy-Cons or whatever, but a majority of the games, they let you use the Pro Controller and honestly, this is the way I play most of the time. When people say they don't have a Pro Controller, I look at them like they have three heads because it's like, what do you play with? So this puppy is $70, so it's not cheap, so I, I understand why people won't automatically buy it but boy if you buy it you're good so yeah get yourself a pro controller it will change your life and you will actually not damage your joy cons because you won't use them a lot thank me later now the next thing i want to talk about is the joy cons so if you want your switch to look stylish you are probably going to want to buy a new pair of joy cons now i have the all blue sets there's yellow uh blue red all red, all blue, um, they have Splatoon, but I don't think you can find those anymore. And something else I want to add is this Switch Grip. Now this is from Skull & Co. Skull & Co. So I really like these because they kind of make the whole handheld experience a little bit more comfortable. So essentially you put your Switch in here and they look like this. And the way you hold it is like this and it's way way more comfortable so if you're a person who likes to play handheld a lot really look into grips like these um like i said mine is from skull and co though there are other ones they're cheaper ones they're more expensive ones that do all sorts of stuff but i just found these more interesting and they had color in the back so i got them okay and next we have games that i think would uh, be a nice start to your Switch collection and addiction. The first game that came out for the Switch and one that I think everybody should play if they have a Switch is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. You should just get it because it's Zelda, first of all. And secondly, it's a big game with a lot of hours in it, so you will be occupied for a long time. Gotta get those Korok seeds. Good luck. Next one is a staple to any Nintendo console, and that is Mario Kart, but this one is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So this is an extension of the Wii U version with all the DLC and all that stuff, but now on your Switch. Next is Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle. This game is fun, funny, goofy, buy it. It's a very unique take on the Mario series and I highly recommend it. And next we have Super Mario Odyssey. Now this is the 3D platformer game of the Switch. Highly recommend it. It's not my favorite. My favorite is still Mario Sunshine, but it is a solid entry into the title. It's a Mario game on Nintendo console. And next we have Super Mario Maker 2. You can make Mario levels and get as crazy as you want. You can go online and do other people's levels. And it's a very nice game for the creative types and it, there's a lot of hours into this game. So this is a fantastic entry. And last but not least, we have Super Smash Bros Ultimate. Now this is the ultimate experience for Smash Bros. Throw out your melees, throw out your Wii U ones, throw out those GameCube controllers because get a pro controller. This is the ultimate Smash Bros game. You know why? You wanna know why? 
everybody is here. All the characters from the old, all the characters from the new, every character is there. And we get some cool DLC characters, except for Banjo-Kazooie. So yeah, this needs no introduction. You just duke it out with your friends, with random people online, with yourself, and you have a good time. And this is another staple in the Nintendo Switch repertoire, so get it. Okay, so if you like the video, please give me a good like, and if you like my content and want to see more, hit that subscribe button for your Nintendo girl helping you out with your games, giving you all, and giving you what it takes. And while you're down there, ring-a-ding-ding -ding that bell so you get notified when videos drop and all that good stuff. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys. You can follow me on Twitter at MandyLeePlays. I hope you guys have an awesome day and play a good game. Bye. Nintendo girl.